guys, welcome to another show of The Cooking Cowboy. Kicking off this week back in Music Corner. As you can see, it's looking delightful. And yeah, I wanted to go straight into country music this week and wanted to give a massive shout out to Carly Pierce's 29 album. I listened to that the other day and it is incredible. What an amazing first album. Absolutely love her voice. So rounded. Uh, a little bit of soul in there as well and I just love that album so check Carly Pierce's 29 out and also oh, I'll tell you who's got a great new deluxe version of their album out that's Kit Moore Wild Worlds so check Kit Moore's Wild Worlds deluxe version out on that album it's on Apple probably on Spotify as well I'm only on Apple Shh. and <clears throat> check that out it's amazing awesome awesome album so good i think it's actually his best album yet to date so check that out and finally my new favorite song that i've been learning to play on this beautiful steel string guitar is um jordan davis's new orleans and that is an absolute great great tune so check that out because it's one of my favorite songs and it's so easy to learn nice chord progression so you heard it here first, you've got Carly Pierce's 29, you've got Kit Moore's Deluxe, Wild World, and listen to Jordan Davis's New Orleans. Let's jump into some music, and then also the kitchen. the kitchen. Oh, here we are in the kitchen, yeah. Already prep stations kicking off over here. Prep station for today's recipe is going to be amazing. First beer. Of course, it's almost my birthday, so I'm enjoying a nice Corona. Uh, other beers are available, so make sure you check those out. But Corona is my favorite. This week, I'm going to be doing a really nice spring lunch. And that is for if you're having some people over in the garden, you want to throw something really simple and easy to get together. I'm going to do steak fajitas for you today with a nice bit of um, salsa and a bit of tzatziki. And it's all going to come together really nicely. So we're going to dive into the into the we're going to dive into the ingredients next. So let's go. Guys, dived into this ingredients. Here we are: steak fajitas, nice and simple, really easy to pull together. Obviously, we've got our steak. I have opted for ribeye steak, and that is because one, it's got a nice fat element to it, which tastes really really good. It fries nicely in the pan. But also you get these big nuggets of fat. Now I've just cut them out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop those straight in my griddle pan and start to warm them up so the fat coats the pan. So you get that extra flavor from the fat in the ribeye. So top tip for that. I've just chopped up some onion into some nice segments and some bell peppers. Every color of bell pepper you can get your hands on. I like a bit of color, as you know, and bell peppers are really good for you. So that's all you're gonna do there. We got some chopped garlic, two bowls of that. We got some smoked paprika and some cumin, just in this little pot. And then the sides, so this is great for lunch. I got some pickled corn uh, cornichons, some guacamole, I freshly just squashed all that into the bowl and some tzatziki. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, I did not make this. I bought it because one, it's really easy to buy. Good. And finally, our lovely tortillas, which these ones are beetroot, gluten free, of course, and some little Romano lettuce leaves to go in there as well. And that's what we need. So let's bring this together. We're going to start with frying off the fat. Boom. Fat rounded. Take the fat out. Chuck the steaks in. Whoa. Oh yeah. And flip. Just a couple of minutes each side. And then you flip it. Just the salt and pepper. Generously, generously with that salt and pepper. Steaks cook nicely, transfer <clears throat> to a chopping board. Simple glug of oil now into the pan. 
Try and keep some of this flavor in there. Just a glug of oil <coughs> and add in our onions and peppers. <coughs> and fry. Look like yeah. looking good, nice and charred, nice and soft as well. Add in a sprinkle of salt and pepper. <coughs> Add in our garlic. <coughs> and fry again for another couple of minutes. Here we are. Just simmering nicely. Just had a couple of minutes with the garlic frying. Everything's nice and soft and charred. Perfect. What you're going to do now is grab your steak. It's still warm, so don't worry about it not being warm. We're just going to chop that. <coughs> Slice that into chunks, into nice slices. Perfect, nice and sliced. Look at that, it's perfectly cooked as well. Absolutely delicious. We're going to take our paprika and our cumin, dust over the top of the vegetables. Stir that in the pan, just to give that a nice coat. And we're ready to serve. And we are ready to serve. Are you ready? Well. Nice salad, green salad on the side. Our lovely sweet uh, beetroot wrap. I'm gonna set that down. And what we love about fajitas is that you just grab whatever you want and tuck it in there. Grab a little bit of meat. A nice dollop of spiced vegetables and onions with garlic. Chuck that on. Add in your cornichons if you want them. Little pickled cornichons are delicious. A dollop of homemade guacamole. Chuck that in. And a little bit of tzatziki on top as well. And that is on tasty looking fajita. Good enough to eat, I reckon.